How's it going guys, Ed Clark here. We're just doing a uh, quick um, demonstration of the dealer tracker on roulettecalculators.com. So we're just going to be looking for a table now that's uh, showing some form of um, consistency. So I'm going to go to Immersive Roulette. I believe that is a standard um, roulette table where they alternate. So I'll have a look. I'm just going to enter in the data from back here. I'm not sure if the dealer's actually um, rotated recently. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to do a 30 minute timer for this video and um, see what we can do. Um, just done a withdrawal. We've got £66.10 left in the account. So um, let's see what we can take that to. So 16, that goes to 20, and 5, 11. 24. Of course, because this is the um, normal, um, the normal um, calculator. Uh, obviously, with the ruler, it rotates um, left and right. So I'm going to set that to 15 anyway. Um, we've just done 26 to 26, and that went to 34, 22. Um, I just like to have a look. I mean, looking at this, it's very scattered across the table. Um, so as the 22, once we end at 35, we'll see the opposite spin. And again, that's really scattered around the table. So not really interested in this particular dealer. So let's just um, exit out of that. And unfortunately, with this one, I have to uh, stretch the screen so I can see where it's going. Let's uh, have a look at another dealer and see what we can do. Um, let's have a look. So we've just done that one. Um, let's have a look. VIP roulette. Give that one a try. I'm not sure if that's a single, single direction spin or alternating. Right, it's a single one direction. Okay, so I'm going to track it from number 23. Um, and hope she's been on for the last sort of 10 spins. So, oh god, I've just uh, submitted that twice. So 23 went to 36. Ooh. 36, that went to 4. 23. 30. Um, 5, 8, 32. 5, 8, 32. That went to 11, which is a double up, is nice. I went to 21, which is another double up, which is good. Went back to 21, then it went to 5, and then to 3. Okay, in fact, um, I've entered a few more. Let me just go back to where that says 9 uh, on the spin count there. Okay, 9, because I want to be tracking 15 spins. Uh, I, I only had it set to track 10, so last number was 21. Was that the double one? No, it's got another 21 that goes on again. Then it goes to five, uh, then three, and that's just landed on ten. Okay. So looking at the board, there's a, a little sort of gathering around here in the tiers section. We've had a double up at 34, which is just out there by itself. And then down here, number seven's had a double up as well. And it's got a couple next to it, number 35 and 28. Um, so I'll just watch this over the next few spins and see what's going on. See if um, this dealer has got a signature or if it was just um, uh, plain luck. Now 33 has just been landed on again, so that's another double up. So we've only got three double ups out of the last 14 spins. So um, yeah, just keep an eye on it. Uh, what I will do just to keep it interesting, I'll put a bet on each of the uh, the double ups, just in case they are hot areas. So as I said, a starting balance was sixty six pounds. Let's see what we can take that to in thirty minutes. 
Our case that landed on 34, which is there, which is um, not helpful at all. Um, so we've got a couple of sections building. I'm going to just stick with the uh, pound on each of the areas there. Um, and, but I just want to see if, if one of these sections, like either up here or down here, forms into a nice group. If it does, then I'll start with the neighbor's bets. Um, but as I said, I've got quite a small balance at the moment, and uh, it's minimum of one pound per, per square on this table. So doing the neighbor's bet without much um, information would probably be quite silly. It landed on 25, so that would have been a, uh, a win if we're betting on all of them. So that's um, another double up. So we've got uh, four double ups on the board at the moment. Um, I will just uh, chuck my standard pound on them. Let's see where we go with that. But what I'm doing, I'm looking at the table here again. Is there any, is there any areas that are looking like they're building up. Um, typically what I do, I, I do a pound on each number and obviously number three, that's doubled up, I put two pounds on that, two pounds on 21, 24 and 27, um, just to basically, each bet would be 15 pounds. As long as you're winning sort of um, every, every other spin. Uh, so that's 34 again, so that's in between those. So let's just, uh, Carry on with this. So we've got three bets there. Yeah, I just, I don't. Um, I mean, they're segmented there. I mean, maybe a neighbor's on on one, and and this whole section here looks good. Um, but there's a few scattered around here, so just um, see see what happens with it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, that went to 36. So yeah, we hit the double up on that one, which is nice. So 36 is a, now a triple up. So yeah, I mean, um, let's just keep keep doing that. Let's just put one on 27. I'll put two on 23 because it's now a triple up. Uh, it might, it looks like it's starting to be worth uh, putting a, a neighbor's bet on this section here. But, um, I'll just see what happens. Because um, obviously you're not going to hit it every time. It's just uh, it's just good if um, if you hit it every two or three times. So yeah, it was heading that way. Uh, it did land on 14, which is there. So. Chuck a, just a single bet now on 18. Put three on there. Like I said, there is a nice little grouping here, but there is also, a, it's quite spread out now. So I'm just going to keep my eye on, keep my eye on the prize. Oh, next door to 18, that was 29, which is a, a good sign. Okay, so that's dropped down, so I'll only put a couple on there now because um, obviously that um, what made it a triple up happened 15, well, 16 spins ago, so it's dropping down. So I'm only betting on what she's doing kind of currently. gone to nine so that's now a double up there so that section she it does seem to be hitting it quite frequently it's just the uh, the opposite side that's putting me off but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, put a small small neighbors on there uh, maybe on 22 like this so I cover down to 20 and up to 28 um, and I'm just gonna focus on just on this little section here and see if we can hit it a couple of times Oh, 
And that looks good right in the middle of it. So it's uh, landed on 18. So again, I'll put it on 29 there. That should cover up to 35, down to 31. Um, you know, let's put another one on 12 and another one on 7 there in case we do get a double up. bit of a funny spin that one so I'm not too bothered that that missed but I'll stick to it again I think probably 19 is the best spot and cover up to 26 yeah and again I'll put one on four and one on two Went to 15, so we hit that. It's close to the four of the two, but no cigar. <laughs> right, again, um, probably 19 again. Looks uh, like it's going that way. And again, I'm gonna chuck another one on 15, another one on um, two, and another one on four, just to cover those. Yeah, a bit of a horrible spin again then where it hits and veers off. That's okay. Right, so I think 16 is probably the spot now for the for the neighbours. Okay, and I'll chuck a chip on 20 and 33. Beautiful. Landed on the double up, so that's nice. 72 pound. Okay, unfortunately it's a dealer change now, so um, I'm gonna leave it there, but you can see obviously, uh, you know, we've only been playing about 13 minutes and I've made over 110, I, mean, I started at 66, I believe it was, so uh, 171 now. Uh, it was a nice win on that last one, it came in on the double up, but of course, once the dealer changes, that's um, that's when you should um, quit out and start logging the table again. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and um, give us a thumbs up if you like it. If you've got any questions or comments, just drop them in the comment description area or all that stuff below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.